What I love about art is that it can communicate things that are completely uh, unspeakable. Creating art has been a way to express the absolute deepest parts of me. My name is Laura Tipwong. I'm a visual artist and historian. My process for making paintings and just starting my artwork involves a lot of research and I consider myself interdisciplinary in that I um, do a lot of writing and I do a lot of very methodical academic research. Personally, I feel like I grew up in sort of a Grimm's fairy tale setting in a small t mining town called Marathon. It was very isolated. It was in the middle of the woods and the mountains. It was a primarily um, white community and I'm mixed race and I definitely got uh, bullied a lot. Was definitely just treated like a freak, you know, like an outsider. Made to realize that I wasn't a part of that community. Another part of the art process for me is reconciling the fact that as a child I was the victim of a violent crime. And I find that we tell stories because that's the way we can relate to each other. And something that fascinated me as I became an adult looking back at my childhood was the idea of the monster. So I incorporate the idea of like the beast and the monster and the folkloric representation of that into my art because I've had to think a lot about what it means to be uh, or to live with monsters in your life. Of course you're going to be different. It changes you and it affects you. You know, a different person emerged out of that. So I've put it into my art and used it as a way of growing and sort of repairing that and learning from it and hopefully being better for it. And I find that my art's a definite lifesaver. Like that's the point of art to me, um, is to move someone in a way that's like deep down and, and sort of uh, indefinable. <laughs>